What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another Swift video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to present a share sheet, otherwise known as a UI activity view controller in your app. So I'm sure all of you at some point have seen this component where you tap on something to share a button or, or share an image or share a link uh, or what have you, and this sheet pops up. Now it's probably different on your device because you have things like SMS and airdrop and all that good stuff, which doesn't show up on the simulator, but we'll take a look at how to show this. So in this case, we're sharing google.com uh, as well as uh, sharing a photo. So if we actually come back here and just hit uh, save image and come to our photos app, uh, you'll see that we have a bell image. Uh, there's two of them saved because I was doing this before. Uh, and the other thing we'll look at is on an iPad, uh, we've got this button here in the top left corner, but the share sheet actually on an iPad uh, uses a popover presentation controller, which is a fancy way to say that the share sheet just points to the relative item here. So uh, in this case, the sheets uh, intelligently kind of knows that the position of it should be below since it's the most appropriate place to put it, uh, as well as it has a little outline here. Hopefully it's easier to see in dark mode uh, that it's pointing to the button. So we'll take a look at putting both of these together. Fairly straightforward, simple video, pretty common in most apps, so uh, pretty heavily requested by all of you. That said, make sure you just start the like button as always. Uh, every single like helps out with the video quite a bit, helps me continue to make video for all of you. Uh, hit subscribe if you're a returning viewer, open up Xcode, and let's talk about some share sheets. Quick pause before we get into the video. If you haven't seen it already, I am hard at work putting together iosacademy.io, a community where all of us iOS engineers can come together, learn how to build some of the top apps like Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, in addition to interview prep to land some of these iOS roles at top tech companies. So if you're interested in the free and premium content to come, head on over to iosacademy.io and enter your email address in the waitlist form and you will be notified as content becomes available. That said, let's get into the video. All right, let's begin by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We're gonna stick with the app template here and let's go ahead and call this project Share Sheet. Make sure your language is Swift, uh, Lifecycle is UIKit and interface is Storyboard. Go ahead and continue and we'll save it to our desktop here. And I've got a simulator booted up here from beforehand. Let me go ahead and select it in the list here and just hit run to get it nice and ready for us. I think it's the 11 Pro Max, we'll hit that. Hit the play button and let's also expand the Xcode window to give ourselves a little more room to work. And we're gonna be working in the view controller for this video, there's our app. So let's come into here and let's get into some share sheets. So I'm going to create a separate function, which is going to present the share sheet. So we're going to say present share sheet, and we're going to present basically a share sheet in which uh, a user is going to be sharing an image uh, as well as a URL. So we're going to create the image first and foremost and the URL up here to make sure it's non-optional. So I'm gonna say the image is a UI image with a system name of Bell. And the URL is a URL with a string and the string will just give it google.com. So www.google.com. Else if either of those are nil, we'll return. And how do you actually show a share sheet? So as I mentioned, we use a activity view controller. So we're gonna create a uh, share sheet VC, which is a UI activity uh, view controller. And if you look at the constructor here, you can pass in uh, activities applica and application activities. And we don't really care about application activities for this video. So we're just gonna pass a nil here but we do care about this one. So this is an array of any, as you can see. And what we wanna pass in here is basically the stuff that we wanna share. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass in the image and the URL, just like that. And let me also line break here so this doesn't look weird. And finally, what we can say is uh, present 
this view controller, the share sheet with an animation and we'll just say true. And that's basically how you would present a share sheet. So we need to take a look at things um, about source recs and popover controllers, but let's create a button first and foremost to, to just see what this looks like in action. So I'm gonna create a private button here and it's gonna be a general UI button. We're gonna return it in here. Uh, and let me give this a background color and a title. So let's say the background color, it decides to autocomplete. Uh, let's see, light button is a UI button. Not sure why that's complaining. It's a command B, sometimes Xcode loves to just give issues. All right, so let's see, we have an error here. Consecutive statement requires a new line. Ah, because it's not an equal sign, I put a dash. Most of you guys watching probably cringing as I type that. Very, very similar looking symbols. Uh, but let's put a uh, background color. Let me add a title. And this is gonna be for normal. And let's also finally add a title color. We're gonna add this to our view controller's view, like so. We're gonna also give the button a frame with a X, Y width and height. And we're just gonna center this button. The button's irrelevant for the purposes of this video in terms of how we're putting it together. It's more so to actually show our share sheet. We're gonna mark this function, uh, Objective C, so the, the, uh, we can use it as a selector uh, for our button. And we're gonna say button dot add target. And the target will be self. The action will be uh, this present share sheet function we created and the event will be touch up inside. So all we really did is created a button here in this anonymous closure, added it and wired up this action in which we present a UI activity view controller with an image and a URL. Let's go ahead and hit command R and let's see what this looks like. So if we tap this, we see that we get the share sheet that pops up here. Uh, in this case, we only have a uh, reminders option here. We have uh, add to reading list. Uh, if we hit save image, you'll notice that um, it actually probably won't save the image because, and it'll crash because if we wanna allow the user to save the image, we do want to add uh, the permission in the info P list. So let's go ahead and add that. So it's privacy photo library edition. Please allow access to save. And let's try that one more time by hitting Command R. That way we can validate that actually sharing and saving the image worked. Here's our permission prompt. We'll hit OK. And let's go to the home screen and find photos. And you'll see if we use the bell icon, there is our image. So I got saved pretty large, which is why it's super grainy and doesn't look high quality. Uh, but Point being, you can use uh, you know the share sheet to share the photo, and uh, I would suspect if we hit uh, copy here, it's going to be copying the URL. So if we come into Safari and paste that URL, you see uh, Google.com pop up right here uh, because that's the URL we shared. So let's talk about popover controllers, and to do that, we're going to want to open up an iPad. So let's pick, uh, let's do the second gen right here. And let's go ahead and hit run. Let's come back to our view controller. So one thing that we want to specify with an iPad is because uh, on an iPad, the share sheet or the activity view controller uh, is a, a floating popover controller. We need to basically tell the iPad uh, from which view should the popover show. And for those of you who don't know what popover controllers are, we're gonna learn about it in a quick minute. So here's the app. When we hit this, you'll see this is gonna crash like that. And the reason it crashes is because it wants a popover controller. So I'm gonna modify this function to take a sender. And we're gonna also modify it up here, like so. And now down here, we're gonna say share sheet dot pop over uh, presentation controller uh, dot 
source view is the sender. And we also want to specify a source rect, and that is sender dot uh, frame. Might be bounds, we'll see in a second. Go ahead and hit Command R to build and run. And you'll notice here if we hit this, we now get the share sheet pointed with an arrow uh, from our actual button here. And you can actually even see that it picked up that we're sharing google.com. Uh, I don't recall if it showed this on the uh, iPhone, but that's how you present a share sheet on an iPad without it crashing as well. And of course, it's a system component, so it supports dark mode and all that good stuff. Uh, so if we actually go ahead and let's move um, the button, you'll see that the share sheet uh, actually, because it has a reference to this button, if we hit this, you'll see that it actually points always to the button. And that's why on an iPad, this popover presentation controller uh, is useful and even more than that required. Because uh, if the iPad doesn't know how to present it, it's simply going to crash. Personally, I think it's a little ridiculous. It should pop up modally and not crash for those of us that forget to add it. But uh, very important to add this. And there you have it. That's how you can present a share sheet in your app. So very, very simple. It's literally only leveraging a UI activity view controller and you can pass in the activity items that you want to share. Uh, we're going to ignore application activities. Uh, not very common to use this. Popover controllers is for iPad support. And this is how you actually present it. And that's about it. Um, the one thing I should call out is if you actually try to pass in a URL directly into this collection, you're going to get a warning because you actually might get an error, in fact, because it's uh, optional. So you always want to be unwrapping the things that you pass in here to ensure that, you know, that it's not nil. So with the, that's the reason we added it as a part of our optional bind with the guard. So yeah, that all said, thank you so much for watching. That's all I had for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video and have it done so already, make sure you hit that like down below. Hit subscribe if you're enjoying these videos, if you enjoyed this video or are a returning viewer. Uh, and comment down below with any questions, concerns, suggestions, feedback. I love hearing from all of you. Uh, I read every single comment, believe it or not. I do it throughout my day, every single day. So definitely leave your comments down below, even if it's just to say hi from wherever you're from. Love hearing them. Uh, it also helps out with the video engagement in general. So thanks again. I will catch you guys in the next video.